Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to TRG Central. Tonight we'll be continuing our coverage of the <clears throat> winners of two plus triple crown races tournament. This is episode 3A. Be sure to check out episode 0 for information about the series. Okay, let's go ahead and get the game started. We have a few things that we're going to going to cover before we get into the uh, actual races for this evening. So let's go ahead and go to the betting parlor and we'll take a look at the the better earnings and winnings for the tournament. And you'll see the cooler has got a little over $2,000. There's your total bets. Apple, Apple Chowder has 10. The most winners is Rail and Superstition, both with 5. <laughs> the column headings and they'll sort the columns for you. And we get back to the fun. And also, I don't know if I ever covered this in any previous episodes, but there is this little a uh, double icon up in the upper right, and that allows you to put whatever happens to be in this window right here. And you'll see this icon on numerous screens that do recording. So what we, we can do is, you know, we'll hit the export list, we'll export it, as a text file and we just need to uh, drop it somewhere uh, let's see. <laughs> and that puts the uh, name of the file that you'll be looking for if you need to take a look at the report. If there's already a report out there, you want it to just to add record to the report or more information, you can do that. And I think everything else is there. You can put the heading on the report or not. So let's go ahead. And you can also change the name of the report right here. Usually this name is whatever our, our uh, screen name is like here, the better earning listing. All right, let's go ahead and do the next port. And I'll ask you to open it, so we'll just open it. And there you go, it gives you a nice report. Is your earnings listing and um, uh, a little bit about now? Sometimes there is what you call hidden fields in the report, mostly for certain If you really don't need them, <coughs> you can just take a, and just eliminate them. These are all for sorting purposes for the. Uh, the code. <coughs> <coughs> now it looks like this one may have been in uh, landscape mode, I think. Take another quick look at this. If you I think if you do the print side, it allows you it asks you yeah whether it's landscape or not. Anyway, there's quite a few options there with this little double icon to be able to. Uh, 
and information that happens to me anytime in any windows that look very similar to this. Okay, so let's go ahead and <coughs> get back to the timer. We don't have any new feathers for the uh, quarterfinals. We don't need to do anything with that. You take a look at the history. And again, you can sort the history by clicking the, uh, the column header. And if you notice, I'm clicking it twice once it's in the descending order, and once it's in the ascending order. And if you want to know who wagers and what races, you do that, and there's all the wagers so far. And the same thing here, you see that double icon. <coughs> you can print it out if you'd like. Okay. So I think that's it for better uh, earnings and a little bit of uh, question and answer statement thrown in. So let's go ahead and get right to the races. Go to the schedule. You'll see now the schedule set to have each race four, three, two, and one run. The same idea as the uh, for the final. Each race one is probably the most interesting race, so it'll be the fourth race on the race card to die. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll be running race number 10, which is the uh, quarterfinal to race number 4. Okay, <coughs> there you go. There's the, uh, yeah, there's the, uh, let's see, we have nine horses in this one, as you may remember from the Last episode that we were counting any dead heats uh, as advancement if they were dead heat in for fourth place. Now there is one thing that I did to the code over the week and that was to have another option. Maybe we ought to take a look at that first. We'll, we'll add a little more information to to how the game is working. So let's go back to the main menu. Let's go up to events options. And I think it's under more events options. And here we are. This is a new uh, feature that I just added. It's <coughs> and this allows the rates to be recorded in hundreds of of second. Usually the it's way out give you hundreds, but there's not a whole lot of places in the code where the, uh, the time would be calculated to the hundreds, let alone the thousands. So with this uh, check mark, it gives me one more time breaker to take a look at before we decide it's a dead heat. Essentially, it uses the, uh, the jockey rating, and the higher the jockey rating, the least number of seconds And we'll see that in the first quarter, I'm sorry, we'll see that in the first quarter panel, for the final race. And I'll show you how that would actually or well, anyway, that's a new option that I added to try to minimize the dead heat. We'll see how well that works. So let's go back to the schedule and get the first race underway. Okay, there is the field, a Shiva, a Furman, point given, Kawa, King, Love, Needles. Smarty Jones, Bold Venture, and Citation. Okay. Let's 
go ahead and take a look at the race car and see what the, the morning line is. Are fast. And you can see here, it looks like maybe a foreman is the morning favorite. Uh, let's take a look see if there's any, any rumors. And over at Winnie's Bar this morning, you make out the name Gary Stevens. And he's riding point given. Maybe he has a little something special that they're going to do in the race. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the track handicapper. And home stretch Harry is going with the foreman, Ashiba, and Zeb. Oh, as you remember from last week, <coughs> last Sunday's races that we left. Uh, home stretch Harry makes some wagers too. So this round we're gonna up his wager ante to fifty dollars, and he's still gonna do uh, wagering on whoever his favorite is will be slotted into the uh, show category. So, in this case, they have a Furman to show for 50. So, that's the Furman. Follow so return. And we'll go ahead and do the betting window, and let's see if we can get the wagers in, and then we'll go ahead two and run the race. Two minutes, time, two minutes. Okay, let's see here. Let's start with Alpha Chatter. <laughs> he has two wagers in this race. He has a Shiba to show. Four fifty. And he also has point given to show for 50. So point given is 3. Okay. Next will be LSU. He is going with citation to win for fifty. Citation for nine. Fifty to win. Next up is Jim. He's going with a format to place for 50. Next up is J Text. He's going with a format to place for 50. Okay, next is Hop Flyer. He's going with the Shiba the Place for 20. Next up is the Cooler. He also is making two wagers on this race. He has, let's see, a permit to place. Or 50. And he's also going to have citation to show for 50. 
only has two waiting rooms on the race. <clears throat> and then real. He's going with the format to show for 50. We're gonna go with um, point given. And then we'll have a home stretch Harry, who's going with uh, a foreman to show. And he's up in his wager to 50 for each of these races. Okay, we'll take a look at all the, the bets. Mm -hmm. There's 11. Eleven different bets. Let's see. It seemed to be all in order. So, so return to the race. Now this race is in Pimlico Park. It's uh, nine and a half furlongs. Third track. And this is the fact the purse here is two million dollars for each of the four races. So I think we're all set. Let's go ahead and start the race. And we're waiting for number nine. <laughs> I think we had the speed regulator set somewhere around 20. And the setting I think was 20. Uh, so, so, hope that's right. We'll see how quick the races run. Looks like point given is going to be uh, out of the gate first. Hmm, that's the horse that I wagered on. Let's go ahead again. There's nine horses. Let's quickly go over the field. Ashima, Affirmative, Given, Kuna King, Zev, Needles, Smiley Jones, Old Venture, and Citation. Okay. Let's go ahead and they're off. And they're off. And point given out of the game first. Now, because it's the nine and a half furlongs, the first game turn is the half furlong is played first. So instead of having the normal ten pace move normally, it'll be half. So they will only get half of what their movement is. And okay, so we're heading into the uh, first turn. It looks like it's a firm and a needle. Followed by point given. And we're heading into the back end of the turn and we still have a firm of the needles first. Point given right behind them. And 
And now we're heading into the back turn. I mean back the back stretch. And we still have a format and you know, Get up the back stretch. We have a permit taking a little bit of a one, looks like a one space lead over the old. And Bold Venture has caught up the point given for third. Remember the first top four will advance over to the semifinals. And here we go into. The home stretch, and it looks like a Furman is building a Nala 2. Everybody has the opportunity to get in. It. So it doesn't look like it. it looks like we're going to have a Furman. So Spondy Jones passes on the inside. He's in the time for second. And there we go. We're finishing up, and it looks like it's going to be a Furman. Needles, we have a couple for third and fourth. The and race is that finished. Should be it. Uh oh, there's been an objection has been reserved and has resulted in a disqualification. So let's see what that happens to be about. We have a photo finish for third place. This replay race record is broken. Okay, there's the uh, wagers. See, there's not too many that won. It's like five of the ten, so about half of the wagers came, came through. Well, let's go ahead and continue to the finals. And Citation was disqualified. Andy Icono is suspended for 43 races, playing $4,300. Citation was disqualified for bumping. Oh, so that gives us. Affirmant, Needles, we do have dead heats uh, with Smarty Jones and Bold Venture. So all four will be moved on to the semifinals. Ashima, Point Human, Cosmic King, Zem, and Citation are out. As you can see, the, we're now showing up a, a hundreds. And unfortunately, that hundreds was not a good enough to break the Sparty Jones, Bold Venture, Dead Heat, Norn, Ishima, Point Kimmon, Dead Heat. So, I think that'll wrap it up here for the first race on our schedule in the quarterfinals. Oh, uh, let's save the stats and continue on. Okay, so we're now we're gonna run heat race three. Okay, there's our nine horse field. Pillory, Tabasco Cat, Silver Charm, Ruffian, Northern Dancer, Johnstown. Carry by War Admiral and Spectacular Bid. Yeah, let's go take a look at the race car. Oh, in fact, all four of the, uh, the quarter father races, the males are carrying 124. The track conditions are fast. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at. Oh, what do the odds? It's in the. Another, as you would expect, a very close race as far as the morning line is concerned. Let's 
see if there's any rumors. Uh, there's another one of the winners and Cherry Bot. Somebody was talking about Cherry Bot. Hmm. And as you see, Cherry Bot just happened to have, have the worst odds on the board. Maybe somebody is wagering a bunch on Cherry Bot just to uh, get a nice payoff. Maybe they know something we don't. Okay, take a look at Track Handicapper. Race number three, so they go with Tabasco Cat. And Silver Charm and Northern Answer. So let's get right over to the betting window. And let's get our bets in. Two minutes to post time, two minutes. Okay, race number for the final heat race three. We'll go with Alpha Chatter first. He has Northern Dancer number five to show. So fifty. Also going with Sean Town to show for fifty. John Town four six. Okay. Next is <coughs> LSU. He's going with War Admiral to win. Whoa, not too many win bets have been uh, bought us throughout the tourney so far. Most of the wagers have been pretty doing the safer wagers on the place and show. And there's only been, I think, one exotic way through the whole tournament. Okay, so I let you for War Admiral to win for 50. <coughs> Next up is Jim. And he's going with Luffy in the show. Luffy in force four. Show for 100. And J Tech is also wagering on. Ruffian to show, but he's only going with 50. And Pop Flyer, he's also going for Ruffian, but he's going to do a place wager for 20. Hello, me the cooler. He has two wagers again. He has Northern Dancer the place. Northern Dancer is five for fifty. And he has Tabasco Cat the show. For fifty. And then the real is going with also with the Basho Cat to show for 50. And then me. Let's see. We'll go ahead. We'll try Silver Charm to 
the show. Oh, the charm. Maybe the show for 50. We're going to make an exotic wager just to make one. Let's see. See if I can actually win something. And some now under my farming allotment, we need something big. So we're going to go with Northern Dancer and Johnston. Johnston and Northern Dancer. And we're going to. We're gonna go out on the limb and pop out 100. And I think that's it for me. And then we have Home Stretch Cherry, Enid on Tabasco Cap that show. Or okay, I think that's all the wagering for, for this race. Well, let's see all the paths, and you can see. Oh, I knew a Quinella. Yeah, I did a Quinella. Oh, I wanted an exacto, but that's okay. That means either five or six to come in first or second. That's probably a safer bet anyway. There you go, dude. You see our other hundred dollar bet by Jim. <coughs> and like I said, there was only one win that win, show, and place bet. I seem to be okay, so let's go ahead. We turn to run the race. And we're waiting for number nine. <laughs> Regulator and stuff set up for the spectator mode. Go down to Nine Orange Field again. We have Pillory, Tabacho Cat, three is Silver Charm, four is Ruffian, five is Northern Dancer, six is Johnstown, seven is Carry Back, eight is War Admiral. And nine is spectacular. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. Let's, let's and we're off. And we're out. We got out of the gate first. And we're going into the first turn. And it looks like Northern Dancer is. Jumped out to an early lead. Going into the back turn, it's Northern Dancer, and wow, Northern Dancer has put up like a two space lead already. Usually that's what the back stretch. Let's see if Northern Dancer can keep the pace up. Second and third, we have War Admiral and Pillory head to head with Ruffian, Spectacular Bid, and the Basco Cap. Well, it looks like <coughs> War Admiral and Pillory have, have, have kind of like shortened that gap behind Northern Dancer to get one phase, so maybe it might be a very good race after all. Oh, now Pillory has just moved a little 
I had a war admiral as we're now going into the Venus, Venus, get your Venus here. Turn. Again, with Northern Dancer keeping his lead. And it looks like uh, Pillory is second, one behind, but the rest of the pack is starting to even get further and further behind. Uh, we're heading into the home stretch, and it looks like it's Northern Dancer, two spaces ahead of Pillory. Oh, Pillory is able to cut that to one space, so it might be a very good race for the for the finish. And we're ready for the final turn. And doesn't look like anybody is going to catch Northern Dancer. It looks like it. Northern Dancer. The race Hillary is finished. War Abroad. This, this replay, replay race, race record, record is broken. broken. <laughs> hey, there's your update. There's only a couple winners. Hmm. I'm not sure why it's coming up 52.50 all the time. I'm going to have to check that out. Otherwise, nobody else seemed to have won. So, second in the time. Let's see. There's, is there anybody that won it that he didn't? No. Everybody all had different tenths and second when they were tied. So, anyway. We have Northern Dancer first, Pillory second, Will Admiral third, Spectacular Pit fourth. They all go to. The semi-final, the Tabasco Cat, John Pal Ruffian, Silver Charm, and Carry Back Head Home. Okay, let's save the results. And we're going to go over to the betting partner real quick and take a look at these earnings. And... There you go, it doesn't, it looks like we've had four uh, better drop under the initial $500 allotment. Oh, uh, let's cancel this. Something wrong. 